it's been quite some time since you guys were on The Bachelorette. Um, quite some time, yes. <laughs> that is a nice so way polite. of saying it. But you still look, you really do look exactly the same. It's time. been really ancient that. times. <laughs> <laughs> Take us back to why you even originally went on The Bachelorette, because it was not as popular then. It was only like the second season. Mm -hmm. Well, I was actually on the very first Bachelor, so I didn't even know what that was. Um, and I just went on it for fun. At the time, I was living in Miami, but I wasn't fully fulfilled, mm -hmm. if you will. Mm -hmm. I just was living in a rut, and I thought, I'll just apply, and then thankfully had my heart broken mm -hmm. and got the chance to be the bachelorette. So I'm really thankful for it. <laughs> yeah. Me yeah. too. Yeah. I think I ended up on it with just purely because of my inability to say no to totally. things. So I was sort of signed up by a friend and I actually tried to say, I actually really legitimately tried to say no to the casting producers because I was scared of what it actually was <laughs> and they were persistent and then I just was I'm just weak I was weak spirit or weak my I would my weak will I weakness guess. is not not yeah. in it turned out to be a strength that's yeah. exactly it right that's what be, I was going to say so I just sort of ha sort of happened to end up on it sort of it, it just fell in my lap well it worked out yes. right? it worked yeah. out <laughs> yeah. um okay so are the kids back at home right now I know you guys get this question a lot, but do they know that you guys were on a reality TV show? Do they know that's how mom and dad met? Yes, mm -hmm. so the kids do know. They found out a couple years ago. Um, they asked me, how did you meet? How'd you meet daddy? And I told them, uh, and I think it was kind of a light bulb moment for them because they had had so many people, they saw so many people over the years ask us, you know, how did, you know, or sorry, ask us for pictures because they were fans of the show. And so they finally put two and two together that that's why these people are asking mommy and daddy for pictures. So they know, um, and it, it's totally weird, of course, but <laughs> mm -hmm. that's our normal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's not even so weird now. Really, right, it's because true. Because a lot of your, your kids, who knows how they'll meet their significant right. others right. these days, right? right. Mm -hmm. I mean. Everyone's, it's like now people are saying it's normal to meet on a dating app. Like, why yeah, is that I know, normal? I know, I know. I know. So they might actually be like, wow, mom and dad were ahead of the time. <laughs> yeah, or just old. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Um, okay, so tell me a little bit about Tubi. Explain to us exactly what it is and how we can watch um, your episodes. Yeah. So Tubi is an app that anyone can download and or go to Tubi.tv. Uh, they can download, I think it's like 40,000 hours of television, movies, shows, including The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, and Our Wedding. The, the first shows of those three, well, of course, Our Wedding was only one show, yeah. <laughs> <So> <laughs> thankfully. <far. Yeah. laughs> um, and then the fifth season, which was the very last season of, the ba of Bachelor in Paradise, can all be viewed on Tubi. And it's all free. Okay. You just have to watch a few ads every so often, but free like is free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like the good old days of commercials. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you can access it and actually has double the content of Netflix. Wow. Um, tons of like family movies for people like us who like to have movie nights with their kids. Yeah. And um, anyway, people can tune in to our season, which yeah. Ryan is so can't excited wait. about. <laughs> can't wait to relive that. <laughs> so you guys don't watch, have you Have you watched I do. in recent years? Okay. Oh, no, 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 not our season. Okay. No, no. We, it, was, it was perfect because we had the perfect <laughs> level of like impenetrable security because our season was only available on VHS. <laughs> so no one watched it. And I was like, Who has a VCR anymore? It. That's great. And then now, Tubi had to go. <laughs> put it on streaming video so here we are but you know what honestly we get the question all the time from people where can we watch your season where can we watch your season there are so many people such as yourself mm -hmm. i'm sure who were too young mm -hmm. when the show was airing and they didn't have the chance to watch it mm -hmm. so even people who are part of the show now i would wager that hannah b who was probably 
eight. about nine years old, yeah. eight years old, <laughs> <laughs> who was our next bachelorette. She was not watching The Bachelor right. or The Bachelorette that I was a part of. So, you know, they can go back and they can watch the show and they can make lots of fun of us. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you so reluctant to want people to watch? Why would I want to watch that? It's like, <laughs> it was hard enough the first time uh, watching my, like, so here, here's, here's, the, are you, are you married? No. No. Well, imagine you're married mm -hmm. and then you decide one day that you have to go back and watch your husband or wife or whoever it is in this case date Dating. a bunch of other people prior to meeting okay, you. that makes sense. And yeah. so yes. it's, it was hard when we were just engaged and, and so I just don't, I mean, I know what it's like. I don't yes. want to. I don't need to see that. This makes sense. I didn't even yeah. think of this because I look at you yeah. guys so much as you've been together so long and right. so like you're just one to me. So yeah. I forget <laughs> yeah. that Tristan did. Plus, what I if was my, dating other people. Dating what other if people. yeah, like what if my kids go back and they're like, Mom, why didn't you pick him? Like, he seems <laughs> he seems like a lot better than dad. Like he's, <laughs> they are know. not going to do that. So, well, they are not going to do that for sure. sure. And you know what? I think it's really sweet because there are not many people on this planet who can say that they have their first conversation on tape. They have their first kiss. They have their first um, date. Um, they their engagement, their wedding, you know, we have all of that, and yeah. that's pretty cool. It's yeah. very cool. Yeah. You guys have the first time you saw each other, which is, like, kind of exactly. crazy. Yeah. I mean, that's, like, I nobody know. has that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Tristan, you said you do still watch I do. every season. I do. Okay. It keeps getting better and better. It's I think so, crazy. right? No, it was better when it first started. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, and it then <laughs> Way different. It was yeah. very different. How has it changed, like, what it what sticks out most in your mind in how it cha has changed now? They go to great places now. That's true. <laughs> yeah. That's More production money. Part. Yeah. They have wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> All the things that really matter most. I know. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Um, no, I I think a huge impact is social media. You know the fact that social media is around. People come on the show sometimes. You know already having a a good following and mm -hmm. that might be something that people are in it for mm -hmm. so it's hard to know if they're being authentic or not so I think that plays into into it a lot well yeah the, I think people have different agendas there's a more diverse mm -hmm. set of agendas yeah and the production companies or production casting producers allow for that because mm -hmm. it creates good television it creates these dramatic um, situations that for whatever reason, people are just attracted to. So mm -hmm. yeah. it, it has to evolve, or it had to evolve a little bit with society, yeah. for better or for worse. Mm -hmm. So, and who, I mean, n not many people thought we would last, but probably no. even fewer people thought that show would last. Totally. And mm -hmm. it's become ingrained in society. It's like, you know, we were talking about it earlier. Everyone knows what will you accept this rose means now. Like mm -hmm. 15, 16 years ago, that didn't mean anything. So it's not a anything. term. So, it's, it's nuts. For the right reasons and uh, uh, choose to forego your individual rooms. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's so different. Right. What do you guys think? Because it seems like everybody that comes off the franchise rolls right into a, a business opportunity. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think of that? Do you, you know, I mean, it's so totally wouldn't have been so much of an option for right. you guys. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, it was, but in a very different way. In a very different way. I mean, I was doing hosting things, you know, I worked with Good Morning America and Extra and um, Good Day stuff. and stuff, yeah. whatever. So there were opportunities in that way, mm -hmm. but I feel like it doesn't matter what your career is. Like you come mm -hmm. off the show and all you have to do is put a picture on Instagram to get followers. So um, it, it's, it's a crazy... It's a crazy change, and I'm thankful that we were part of the very beginning. Um, it it was hard. It's very stressful mm -hmm. to go through that, especially when you have a brand new relationship. And to I just posted something the other day about um, not uh, comparing yourself, like the comparisons. It's really hard to not compare yourself to the perfect, pretty, filtered pictures that people put up on Instagram. And and I think that um, when you come off the show, 
you want to be able to just jump right in and do that. But on any new relationship, like to compare yourself to people is really hard. I feel like you need to focus on each other in order to have a chance at, at success. And when it's like instantly gratifying to just look at your phone and, you know, go somewhere else and compare yourself, like, are we, are we supposed to be together? Am I who he wants to be with? Am is she, you know, there's so many questions and doubts, I think. So it's hard. It's, it's very stressful. Um, so I'm really, I'm just really thankful that we were in it. Yeah. <laughs> We were in it when we were in it. Yes. I would have loved to have social media. I would give anything for millions of followers. <laughs> <laughs> What's we were in? And you could post a yeah. T ad yeah. and yeah. make a couple thousand. <laughs> totally, yeah. <laughs> totally. I don't feel sorry for them at all. No. No, they do have yeah. great opportunity. And not yeah. to say that we didn't. So with the wedding, we were paid. It's, mm -hmm. it's out there. It's public. Mm -hmm. um, we were paid because we felt like, you're coming to our wedding. You're getting something out of the deal. We need yeah. to, too. I think it's almost like sports. Like it, You're given totally. this opportunity. You're take right. advantage of it. It's not going to last forever. Right. Make it, take advantage. Make, make the most of it. And, Definitely. And I mean, I, I would fortune. love to see more like depth in content right. from many of them. But that's not to say that I'm not, not like the mom patting them on the back going, go for it. You know, this is your opportunity to take it and run with it. So why not? If you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it. Now. Thanks.